we're going to show you how to install a set of armrests on a Harley Davidson tour model. Rivco Products makes some very nice armrests, pivot out and mount to the tour pack on 1990 newer Harley Davidson FLH models. It fits all King tour packs, uh, 1990 through today. There's two different part numbers. The trunk changed considerably in shape in 2014. So we have one number that's 2013 and earlier, a different part number 2014 and later. The only difference being the mounting bracket that holds it to the tour pack. So let's show you how this gets done. So installing the Harley Davidson armrests as a Harley tour pack. These fit again all King tour packs. This happens to be a 2013 tri-glide. Uh, as I said, we have two different model part numbers, one for 13 and earlier, one for 14 and later. Uh, most models should come with the map pouch back here. You'll loosen, the, open the map pouch, and there'll be two 3 8 hex nuts in there. You remove those two 3 8 hex nuts so that we can get this liner out and have access to the bolts that hold the uh, speaker housings on. So we'll loose, take those two acorn nuts off. The pouch comes off like so. Then we're going to remove the entire liner on... Uh, a 2013 and earlier, it folds inward and comes out, and 14 and later, the liner will be sandwiched between uh, the tether bracket here. So what you'll do there on the newer models, so there'll be two screws, while you're holding the tour back lid shut a little bit, I like to lean up against myself, you'll take the two screws out, pull the liner back, start the two screws again, don't have to tighten them down, enough to hold the uh, bracket there in place, get your tether so that it's out of the way of the liner. Then, pull the liner forward off the two studs in the rear, a little bit of time you work that out of there. You can leave everything inside your trunk, pull your entire liner out. Okay. Now we're going to remove the speaker housing that we so now that we have the liner out of the trunk. There's three screws, 7 16ths uh, screws or bolts that hold that speaker housing in. So we're using a 7 16 socket. I like to use an impact driver. We pull those three screws out. So we've got our speaker off the tour pack. Now we're going to put our armrest on. This can be done yourself, but it helps if you've got an assistant here. So my friend's going to help me here. All we're going to do is take the backing plate of the armrest uh, and line up the three slots with the three bolt holes. So uh, you start here with the top one. I find that's a little easier to see what you're doing there. Two, three, four pounds of torque. It's on. Uh, these armrests pivot out horizontally, and uh, the little magnetic latches here help hold them in place. They also have a well, friction lock to not only adjust the friction, how tight they are, but you can take that knob and unscrew that completely out of the arm here. Pull that all the way out. You can take the armrest off. So if you don't want them on when you don't have a passenger with you, all you have is the mounting bracket on there and the plate. Otherwise, the armrest is on there. Tighten down the screw for the tension you like, and you got it. Same thing on the other side. Put your uh, trunk liner back in, and you're good to go. Happy passenger. The armrests also include a little bracket comes with them. You can bolt on to the right or the left side on the bottom here to use our optional cup holders with. Uh, they have multiple bolt holes also in the bottom. You can mount these pads, turn them around, and have them out farther or move them forward a couple inches to make that adjustable for your passenger as well. That's it. Rivco products. Adjustable passenger armrests.